here we have the last two problems where we're going to be dealing with proportions, writing proportions uh, for real life situations. So in order to figure out certain information, we got to set up a, a proportion and solve. So we have a 10 by 8 inch photo of the school band. So what's really important is that you guys are drawing pictures. You need to be drawing pictures so you keep your information oops, um, very consistent. Oh man, hold on. So that you keep everything consistent and organized. So we have 10 inch picture by 8 inches. And then it wants to be reduced for the yearbook. So that it's 5.5 inches, and that's the length, and we don't know the width. So we can label that X, you could label that W, whatever you'd like. But now we need to set up a, a proportion with this information in order to solve. So there are two ways you could set it up. You can have all the information about the large picture and compare these two numbers set equal to the information of this picture. So if you would like to go that route, then we'd have 10 compared to 8. And that's going to be equal to, now since I started with the length, I'm also going to start with the, oops, the length, let me change that, the length on this side. So 5.5 compared to x. If you think of it like you want to set the lengths equal to the widths, you could do that. So if I had 10 compared to 5.5, and that would be equal to, since I started with the length and I started with the larger photo, I'm going to then start with my 8 over x, okay, comparing the larger to the smaller. And then if you're going to cross multiply to solve, I'd have 10 times x equals 8 times 5.5. And just to show you the same, 10 times x, 8 times 5.5. So all about being organized and consistent. So 10x equals 8 times 5.5, okay, which is 10x equals 44. And if we divide both sides by 10, x equals 4.4 4 inches. Right. Now we have the scale model of the Titanic. We have its length and its width, and then we have the Titanic itself, and it was 882.75 feet long, and how wide was it? So we have the Titanic, and I'm not going to draw out the Titanic, but we know that the length of it was 175, or 107.5 inches, and whoops, the width is 11.23 inches wide. So this is our model model. Okay, and then our actual is going to be much larger. So the actual was 882.75 feet. And we don't know, again, what the width is. Okay, so but something I'm hoping that you guys notice right away was here we have inches and here we have feet. It's kind of what we did yesterday. We need to change this feet into the smaller unit. So we have to think about how many um, inches are in one foot so that we convert this into inches. So there's 12 inches in a foot, so I'm going to multiply that, this by 12. So 882.75 times 12 is going to give me 1,000, or I'm sorry, 10,593 inches, and that's what I want to use, okay? So I have four pieces of information. I'm just missing one so I can figure out what that is, and we want to set up a proportion. So I'm going to keep, I'll keep with my colors, and this time I'll set it up with the information of the model equal to the information of the actual. So I'm going to start with the length. I have 107.5 compared to 11.23. And then my actual, I started with the length, so I'm going to go again with this length. 10,593 compared to x. 
and then I want to cross multiply so I can solve. So I have, whoop, let me change that to the pen, 107.5x is equal to, when you multiply 11.23, get the calculator, 11.23, times, whoops, times, let's see, 10593, okay, we get 118959.39, I believe that's what it was, 118959.39. Then we need to divide by 107.5 on both sides. So x is going to be equal to, let's bring up this calc again. We're going to divide by, and hopefully you guys can see this, it's my first time trying it, 107.5. So we get 1106.6 inches. All right. Okay, so again, what's really important with these problems, you guys, is you need to set up pictures. You need to keep all the information consistent and organized. All right, and make sure that you're looking at your units. That's what's really crucial. So any questions that you guys have, I will be back on Thursday, but you're watching this tonight. Tomorrow you have in class to work on all of your homework. All right, have a good one.